Hey guys, I know that some of you have been having problems with being able to like reorder your factor levels and maybe make some histograms or even if you've got started on the ANOVA section, you might have had problems with getting some of the output there. Um, I've been able to track down the bug uh, and I have a workaround now and it all has to do with how we are importing our data. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm just going to go ahead and open up our studio real quick and I'll get our commander opened up too. And we're going to do our, our commander. And we'll get that going here. Okay, so now that I've got this opened, most of the time I'm going to go down to the just ANOVA section real quick, just so that you can kind of see. Uh, some of these issues even if you're not there yet. So I'm going to go to our Nova and I'll go to our guide and I'll show you what the problem that we've been seeing. Oops, sorry, those are the videos. If we go down to the coursework in the Nova, And so I'm going to just go ahead and copy in our data. So I'm going to copy it just like we normally do. And when I do our data, give me a second, import data, and from our text file, like we normally do, clipboard, tabs, OK. So I do that, I click on my view data set, and it looks like everything is in there correctly. However, when I try to go do something like manage my active data set and like reorder my factor levels, and you know, I click OK and everything, I only get this little box and it's like there's nothing useful there. If I try to do like some graphics with like my histogram, and like uh, just a regular histogram looks like this but if I try to do it by the groups uh, I get an error where it says invalid type list of arguments and there's all sorts of problems so what's going on is there's a problem with how our commander is importing the data and I don't know how to make that particular part work uh, because uh, I have not developed this uh, R Commander, so I'm, I'm actually in contact with the developer and I will have him uh, fix it, but we can go a different route. And when we go through the Excel route, I've hardly ever had any problems with importing through Excel. So what we're going to do once again is I'm going to go ahead and copy this data, and this time I'm going to put it into Excel. So I'm just going to open up a basic Excel sheet, and I'm going to paste our data in. And if I just try to do, you know, a right click and then paste it in, you know, it kind of does it incorrectly. So we know that a lot of times we have to do this right click, paste special, and then we click on just like text, click OK, and now it's got it in our two columns just like I want it. Okay, so at this point what I can do is now I can save my Excel file. So we have to do this extra step. We copy the data, from my open math we paste it into Excel now I'm going to save Excel and you can put it wherever you want I'm just going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to call this like bench ANOVA benchmark ANOVA or maybe I'll just call it like ANOVA 1 and I'll save it once you have it saved, we can close out of this Excel. All we need to have a place is to import our data. So I'm going to close out of that. And now when I'm in our commander, I'm going to go to data, import data, and I want to say from Excel file. Now we can just leave all the defaults here. If you want to rename the data set, you can. I'm just going to leave it as data set. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to overwrite this data. And it's going to come up with this search window where we can go and track down you know, whatever we want. So I saved mine on the desktop just because it's easy for me to find. And what I named it, oh no, maybe I didn't save it on the desktop. Maybe I saved it into documents. Yeah, I saved it in documents. So you just have to be able to find it. Um, I'd suggest saving it on desktop because it's easy to find and then you can, you can delete this afterwards We just need it to be able to get our data in so I've got a Nova one and I'm going to go click on open And I want to click on my view data set and it looks like it's got in here. Okay, and let's see if we can do a few things So we're going to go to data manage my variables and I want to say reorder my factor levels and if I click okay 
Now I'm able to actually change these factor levels if I wanted to. If I wanted to have machine made as like one and hard packed as two, I can reorder those just like I wanted to. If I want to now go do my histograms and do plot by groups, time in the hospital, and I click OK, now I've got these histograms by group. And like if I was doing my ANOVA testing, like my one-way ANOVA, and I do my pairwise comparisons, it actually produces my confidence interval plots, and it actually does all of the output that I'm looking for in my ANOVA. So in total, we have a workaround. We just have to, when we're dealing with our data right now, instead of using that kind of nice, easy, fast way to import our data, uh, we're going to need to start importing our data by first pasting it into Excel and then importing it into R Commander through Excel. And that's kind of our workaround, so how we can get our data incorrectly so you can do all of your assignments. Uh, if you find that this has caused you problems, that you need an additional extension on something that has been way past due, please let me know. I'd be happy to give you a couple more days. So that's all that I've got. Good luck.